take this kind of pressure I must confess one more dusty road it would be just a road too long Whoa, 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 did you see that? Let's go back for a sec. <laughs> there, what is that thing? That is called an electromagnet. It is a very large version of a device created almost 200 years ago, and as you can see, it's powerful enough to lift cars, at least cartoon cars, I guess. In the real world, electromagnets are used every day to lift and move objects using nothing more than an electrically induced magnetic field. So, it's some kind of magnet? Not quite. Electromagnets are different and more useful than regular, or permanent magnets, for a few reasons. But before we can get into those, let's learn a bit about magnetic fields and currents. For centuries, people have used compasses to help with navigation because they always point north. This is caused by the Earth's magnetic field. It exists at every point on the surface of the Earth and compasses align with it. This same effect can be observed when compasses are placed near a wire that's connected to a battery. When the battery is disconnected, the compasses point north, but when the battery is connected, the compasses point in a circle around the wire. This phenomenon was first described by Ampere. When a wire is arranged in a coil, all compasses inside the coil will point in the same direction. This is called a uniform magnetic field. But what about magnets that don't come from electric currents? This type of magnetism is caused by electrons and metals like iron, cobalt, and nickel. Electrons have a property called spin. There are two types of spin, up and down. Pairs of electrons must have opposite spin, but unpaired electrons can have the same spin. When many unpaired electrons have the same spin, the result is magnetism. Ordinary pieces of iron have some regions containing atoms with electrons of one spin and other regions with atoms of the opposite spin. The magnetic effects essentially cancel each other out in a large piece of metal. However, if we place the iron inside a uniform magnetic field, electron spins a line and the metal becomes magnetized. If we place a nail in a uniform magnetic field from a coil of wire, we can align the magnetic regions. When a current is passed through the coil, we can magnetize the metal, and when the current is removed, the magnetic regions become randomly distributed again, and the metal loses its magnetic properties. This is exactly what we want, a magnet that can be turned on and off whenever we want. This is called an electromagnet. An easy way to test out this theory at home is to make your own electromagnet using copper wire, two iron nails, some tape, and a battery. In this example, we use a AA battery. Begin by taking one nail and taping the wire across the end of it, leaving three inches of wire on one end. Then, tightly wrap the wire around the nail, starting at one end and working your way down to the other end. Once you get to the end of the nail, start another layer of wire by tightly wrapping the wire in the same direction around the nail, but now moving back towards where you began. Repeat this process until you are confident in the number of coils that surround your nail. Remember, the more coils you have, the stronger your electromagnet will be. Our electromagnet has approximately 122 coils. Just like when you started coiling, be sure to leave at least 3 inches of wire free at the end so your electromagnet can be attached to the battery. Once you have finished wrapping your wire, be sure to tape the wire in place so your work doesn't come undone. Now you're ready to attach your electromagnet to the battery. Connect one end of the wire to the positive terminal of the battery, taping it in place. Then carefully connect the other end of your wire to the other end of the battery. If the wire or battery start to get extremely hot, disconnect them immediately. Now your nail should be magnetized. Test it by using it to pick up the other iron nail. You may find that the wire wrapped nail stays magnetized after you disconnect the battery. This is because the electron spins are still aligned even after the magnetic field is gone. Electromagnets are responsible for many of the technologies that allow us to live the way we do. From cranes to generators, electromagnets are everywhere. Without them, many of the modern marvels that we rely on today would never exist.